Now, in a historic ruling, Kenya's Supreme Court says last month's presidential election was flawed and the judges avoided a rerun. The victor, President Uhuru Kenyatta, says the decision is political, but he will accept the judgment. He'd won the closely fought ballot by just over a million votes, but the opposition claimed there were widespread irregularities. It's the first time a legal challenge to a presidential vote has been successful anywhere in Africa. And Sori reports now from Nairobi. Celebrating a new lease of life. Veteran politician Raila Odinga gets one more chance to run for president. A last-minute decision to challenge the result of the presidential election paid off. The presidential election held on 8th August 2017 was not conducted in accordance with the Constitution and the applicable law rendering the declared results invalid, null and void. A shocking and rare judgment. The judges did not limit themselves to what happened on election day until the results were announced. Rather, they looked at the electoral process in its totality, from voter registration to civic education, as well as the campaigning and the procurement of electoral materials. And so in a sense, this judgment sets a strong precedent for election disputes globally and a high threshold for the conduct of elections. Outside the court, celebrations erupted among opposition supporters. It's now back to the drawing board for presidential candidates. As much as I disagree with it, I respect it. I disagree with it because, as I have said, millions of Kenyans queued, made their choice, and six people have decided that they will go against the will of the people. The court directed the Electoral Commission to organize a fresh election, but the opposition says it has no confidence in the current commission. They have committed criminal acts. Most of them actually belong to the jail. And therefore we are going to ask for prosecution of all the Electoral Commission officers who have caused this monstrous crime against the people of Kenya. The constitution states that a new election must be held within 60 days. For now though, opposition supporters across the country are basking in the glory of the court victory. And international observers, including the former U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, declared the election largely free and fair. So this Supreme Court decision really is momentous. That's right. Uh, well, the international observers were criticized for rushing to endorse a process even before the final result was announced. But they did also emphasize the importance of seeking legal means of dispute resolution. And we believe that that pressure is what led to the petition uh, that was uh, decided today. The judges made a radical decision. It goes against the norm, even in the Commonwealth, where judges generally uh, tend to sh show restraint. Uh, but then, by so doing, they have uh, demonstrated their independence. Okay, and so live in Nairobi. Thank you.